Hi guys and welcome to Daily Bedali Podcast, your daily dose of wisdom. For those of you who are new to the podcast, the purpose of the podcast is for us to learn to be better humans one day at a time. Every episode we will explore a wise quote or intriguing idea that will expand your emotional intelligence and soften your heart. This being said, let's get into it. The quote of today is Adversity introduces a man to himself. Albert Einstein Now, you will hear me talking about self-mastery a lot. Because self-mastery, which includes self-discovery, self-awareness, self-healing and self-growth, is the foundation of everything good and sustainable in life. When you know who you are, when you acknowledge and heal the broken parts of yourself, when you commit to become a better person with each day, you hold a key, not necessarily to happiness, but to resilience. And resilience is that superpower that keeps people sane when their life becomes really messy and they get hurt. So this quote that I picked, it's about that. Because when faced with adversity, people have two options, to react or to respond. And when we react, it's our wounded self, our inner child, the unhealed parts of ourselves, the fear in us that shouts out loud. Yet, when we respond, it is presumed that we take the time to let our initial emotions settle and allow our conscious mind, not our rebel unconscious mind, to take the lead. But responding to unpleasant situations instead of reacting to them takes, for most of us, a lot of work. It takes the effort to become aware, to sit with your emotions, learn to let them cool down and then make a decision that represents us at the level that we want to operate. The thing is, when adversity comes, there's sometimes little to no time for us to prepare, so we will answer at the level that we truly are in this moment. And I know that most of us tend to say, this situation or this person has brought out the worst in me. But the truth is that they just brought out the unhealed parts of you, the unacknowledged or repressed parts of yourself and that is completely fine because these are also parts of you that you have to meet greet and reconcile again adversity introduces a man to himself said albert einstein and yes adversity introduces us to ourselves And sometimes we won't like what we see and this gives us the opportunity to change. Hmm. Think of a moment in your life, maybe in an argument with your partner, when your words hurt them and they ultimately hurt you. You felt triggered and maybe you even accused them for triggering you. And even if that was true, your reactions define you. And we have to pay attention to this, because in life, not everyone will show up understanding and willing to give us a second chance. And ultimately, no one is responsible to deal continually with a dirty behavior from us just because we have an excuse, just because we have a past, an unhealed one. Yes. It is our responsibility to acknowledge where we are and where we want to be. And the next time a challenge arises, we will rise up to the challenge. And we learn as we grow. Oftentimes it takes making the same mistake more than once until we have the courage to get out of that vicious pattern. But do not ever let yourself discouraged. You are not your past. You are not defined by the mistakes that you have made as long as you become accountable and put some effort into change. One day at a time. 
This being said, I want to thank you again for taking the time to tune in and listen. Make sure to subscribe for more and share in the comments below any topics that you would like me to tackle in the next episodes. I'm Alisa and until next time, remember, you have all the answers deep within. My mission is to take you there.